and welcome to your event recap. Five days of continuous flying with five amazing, stunning airplanes. Here's your event recap for the Collings Foundation. Well, back again for another year, writing five books with a new one out this year, right? Called Hey Sister, we have Nancy Robinson. Well, how are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> you know, it's always fun to be here and to share my writings with other people, but also to meet new people and hear their stories. Mm -hmm. In fact, many of them have given me their stories, which I've incorporated in my new book, Hey Sister, Fill Her Up. Because during the war, when the women were pumping gas in gas stations, and they would drive in and say, hey, sister, fill her up, you know. And she'd say, my name isn't sister. So what I did was took the stories of many people that have told me their stories and incorporated it in the book. And the girl, Maisie Starr, is 18 when the war begins, and she's 23 when it ends. So there's a whole lifetime of growing up during World War II. Yeah. Wow. What a, and then you also have four other books as well. You, you write a lot. Yes. I actually, I'm a children's book writer, and so it just is easy to write something else. And because, because everybody gives me their stories, mm -hmm. and it's wonderful, and I love to share them. I mean, they should be shared, mm -hmm. you know because the Women's Air Force Service pilots, uh, Beverly Beesmeyer, gave us her journal and her sketches. Mm -hmm. She lived to be a hundred and two months. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she was a great gal. Uh, I loved meeting her and, and you know knowing her. She was great. She actually flew a plane when she was 99, so. 99 years old, wow. Well, they put her in like a cherry picker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then she uh, took over the controls, and she said it was great. Uh, you never forget how to fly. Mm -hmm. But they d I didn't tell them I couldn't see. <laughs> well, thank you, Nancy, for talking about your new book. We have uh, We Love to Fly, Hey Sister, Spy Stories, Eight World War II Heroes, and Letters from My Brother, all available in the Lion Air Museum gift shop. <laughs> now we move along. Thank you, Nancy. Well, I'm going to fall backwards here. Let's keep going here. Who do we got? Ooh, we got Rob again. Rob again for another year here at Collings Foundation. Let's see if we can squeeze by here. Rob, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about your display. <laughs> what would you like to know? Well, what did you bring? I brought a little sampling of World War II items, German, Japanese, and American. So I have rifles, helmets, swords, bayonets, knives, flags, whatever you want. And I let people hold them and pick them up and, and explain a little history about them. It's, uh, it's always interesting to have people tell me that, yeah, my dad brought this home or my grandpa and stuff. So it's, uh, I let people pick them up and hold them and get a little bit of history. Some things you... Like not a lot of people let you do that, though, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Some of these have some value to them. And, of course, anything that's authentic, I have to put locks on and make secure. And, of course, no live ammo around here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's a good, good history lesson for a lot of people. What is your most favorite item here? Dan. <laughs> who is a World War II B-24 gunner. He's my favorite item around here. And he hangs around, huh? Yes. Everything, he's the only thing that's priceless. <laughs> So you're here all weekend. I'll be here through uh, Sunday night. As long as the Collins Foundation is here, I'll be here. You'll be here. Well, it's always glad to have. Always great to have you here every year. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I drove all the way from Tucson just to be here for this. And we love you for that. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. You're welcome. <laughs> well, okay, we got authentic World War II items. Now let's head outside. <laughs> It's time to take a look at some of the visitors we have this weekend here for Collings Foundation. Right behind me, the newest crown jewel for the group, the P-40 Warhawk. And now let's take a look at its startup and its taxi away.
and one that always makes an impression as it roars down runway 20 right, the B-25 Mitchell Tondaleo. You can hear the engine roar, but this plane is especially special for its nose art. <laughs> The only flying B-24J Liberators left, the Witchcraft. Let's hear how it sounds. Dubbed the Cadillac of the Skies, the 51 Mustang, of course, makes a lasting impression to anyone that hears it pass by. Take a look. And the ever so beloved B-17-909 Flying Fortress. I mean, four engines and that sound, can it get any better than this? That is another event in the books for the 2019 event calendar. Join us at our next one on Saturday, June 8th for the commemoration of the 75th anniversary of D-Day with open cockpits and a guest speaker. For more information on that, visit lionairmuseum.org. Also, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more. This has been Marcus Gropel. We'll see you at the next event. Till we meet again, and blue skies to you.